if we want to multiply two integers as we have seen we use a certain process we call them is as an algorithm so we all know that we use the algorithm we have studied in class 2 or class 3 and we can multiply two digits very easily so apart from this algorithm that we know already there are many interesting and very economical algorithm that use much less time and they perform the function very efficiently so there are many algorithms that we can use for multiplication of two digits one is a very interesting algorithm that is called karatsuba multiplication so we will see how we calculate the same two digits we have seen in the previous slide so in the karatsuba multiplication we will use the same two digits we have used in the previous slide so we use in the previous slide 1 3 5 7 and we have multiplied it with 2 4 6 and 8 so the first one is our x value x input and the second is y so in this Karasuba multiplication, we will divide x into two halves. First is 13 and we call it as A. The second half is 57 and we call it as B. Similarly, we will divide Y into two parts. First is A, that is 24, not A, C. And second part is 68 and we call it as D. So we have divided these two figures into four parts. X into 2 and Y into 2. So we will use this cash flow multiplication and will follow the step by step. So we will reach the same answer as we have got in the previous calculation. So first step is we will compute 8 times C a is 13 and C is 24. So when we multiply 13 with 24, we get the answer 312. In the second step, we will compute B A B with D. So B is 57 and D is 68 and we got the answer 3, 8, 7, 6. So these are the first two steps. The third step is we will compute and we will add up A plus B times C plus D. So we know A is 13. We will plus with the B. B is 57. And we will multiply it with C plus D. C is 24 and D is 68. So when we add 13 with 57, we will get 70. And we will multiply the product of addition of 24 with 68 we will get 92 and when we multiply 72 with 70 we will get the answer 6 double 4 0 so the fourth step in this interesting algorithm is we will compute and in the manner that the step number 3 will be uh, minus from step number two will be minus from step number one and similarly one will be minus from the answer of three minus two so in this case we know in the third step we got the answer six double four zero so we will write here six double four zero minus 
second three eight seven six minus the answer of one three one two and we will get the answer if we minus all these digits we will get two two five two so the last step will be and that is a very interesting step we will add number one this one three one two but we will add four zeros after two one two three and four that is number one and similarly we will add number two that is three eight seven six that is number two and lastly we will add number four that is two two five two and like the number one we will add not four but at two zeros at the end two and two and we will interestingly got the same answer three three four nine zero seven six that we got when we multiply these two figures so when we multiply these two figures with the conventional algorithm and in this algorithm we got the same answer three three four nine zero seven six so this is the second type of algorithm we can use and we can get the same answer by using the different set of calculations so this is not the magic i will explain in the next slide how we get this figure